Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Fiora. It's our next deck in our newest day of the week, No Targon Tuesday. Uh, we've seen that Targon is just dominating Legends of Runeterra right now. And so we're adding on a new day of the week, um, at least, you know, for the time being. We have Rank Up Sundays, we got Meme Tier Mondays, we have the Wednesday Night Stream, and now we're going to have No Targon Tuesday, where we, we play, take an entire day playing ranked decks that will uh, have no Targon in them. This deck here is going to be um, a Lulu Fiora deck I put together today, where really what I wanted to do is I wanted to try War Chefs. So I wanted to, to you know try this the new 2-2 War Chefs. Uh, if you all remember, the 2-3 War Chefs used to be really good. And then they made War Chefs a 1-3, and then they printed the Grand Plaza, and, um, you know, War Chefs' value went down a whole bunch. But now it's a 2-2, so we'll see how it does. Um, so I'm pairing that with, uh, so, you know, trying to think of, like, where I want to, to play War Chefs with. The, the, the spot where we used to play War Chefs was with Fiora Shen, right? Like, it, it used to be the 2-drop in Fiora Shen um, until, it, until it got nerfed. Uh, but, you know, Fiora Shen's already, like, a, a good popular deck and everything, so I wanted to try it somewhere else. Um, I still wanted to play War Chefs with Fiora, but we'll try it with Lulu also, and we'll have Lulu and Fiora together. I don't expect that this deck will be better than traditional Fiora Shen, but, you know, it's going to be different, and we're going to try it out. So, even, so we know how good Shen and Fiora are together with how Shen gives the barrier to Fiora. But Lulu could also be pretty sweet with Fiora, how Lulu can heal Fiora. You know, Lulu will turn Fiora into a 4-4. And so if your Fiora is already like a 3-1, and then you support with Lulu, will turn it into a 4-4. And so you can heal, um, you know, get that health buff back and everything. So I think that those two cards can work really well together. Of course, we'll have, we need, we're going to want some challengers to go with our supports. We'll have like Laurent Protégé and uh, Fleet Feather Tracker in here also. Um, you know, uh, we're going to have... Um, a card that I think... All right, so then besides besides that, like the other thing about playing Lulu is we need to also protect Lulu besides wanting to have challengers to support. We need to figure out ways to to protect our Lulu because Shen can just attack in and it's a 3-5 and it's really hard to kill a Shen because it's a 3-5. Lulu, on the other hand, is only a 2-3. It is super easy to kill a 2-3. And that's, that's really why Lulu is pretty weak is because it's just a 2-3 and it's very easy to kill. So if we're gonna have ways to protect Lulu, uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna um, have this card rush. This is a card that I think is pretty underrated. This uh, can you know give that Lulu that third attack and also quick attack because they usually block Lulus with like three twos and three threes and stuff like that. So like we can get some surprise um, protection with Lulu. And then of course this is also just very good with challengers. So we have two of those, um, one Rangers Resolve against decks that have a bunch of removal. Um, and that's kind of it. You know, like, this is a lo low to the ground deck. Much, much more low to the ground than, like, Fiora Shen. Fiora Shen can, like, play a late game and it uses River Shaper and draws a ton of cards and that kind of stuff. We're going to need to get ahead early with our uh, support things and, and, you know, try to curve one drop, two drop, three drop most of the time. All right, so let's give it a try. We'll, we'll see how it does. I, you know, I hope, hope we can get, like, three out of five or so. I'd be very happy with three wins. Um... You know what? What building around War Chefs and Lulu? Yeah, Lulu definitely needs a buff. Yeah, I I like playing Lulu though. Also, I I just like playing the support cards and the support champions. You know, so like Lulu and Tarek. Uh, I would have gone Lulu Tarek here if I could have with also War Chefs, but obviously you can't. That's three different regions, so you, you can't do that. So, um, when I thought, okay, we want to play War War Chefs and Lulu. I'm deciding to go Fiora instead of Shen. I think Fiora maybe fits a little better. All right, we're playing against some Burn. Playing against some Aggro, so we're definitely going to need to get down early. So we're mulliganing these. We need to get bodies out there. Sharp Sight is just really good, though. I want to keep one Sharp Sight. Hopefully we get some other bodies. There we go, good. All right, so now we need some support things. Let's lead with. I think we actually have to lead with the Flower Child, because I because they're like they're a jury rig deck. So like let's say I play Fleet Feather Tracker and they do nothing. I can't really just attack with Fleet Feather Tracker because they could just play jury rig a block. 
So we'll just play the Flower Child first. Where's our support cards? Or our champions? The sunbrot got me good. There is Jerry Rig. I would like a champion or a support card. This could be pretty close. I hope they don't have their champions, especially Jinx. If, if they have Jinx, you know, that's it's gonna be a lot of trouble for us. Really? Now I draw Fiora? Can I can have can have you last turn Fiora? To block that arena battlecaster? Um, but of course just just playing the screeching dragon here just makes a lot more sense than playing the Fiora. But I guess what Fiora would have done is I could have cast Fiora plus Concerted Strike, which would have been good against specifically Jinx. But then again, they, they're probably... Like, the only reason to play Jinx first is, yeah, like they're going to be able to to kill this, so... <clears throat> Got the Sharp Sight to protect. So now this is very good for us. They, they really should just not have played the Jinx before combat. They should have just passed priority, because I was obviously going to challenge. That's If they lose this game, that decision cost them this game. They discarded Decimate. Yep. That decision cost them this game to play the Jinx. Just let me challenge, then play the Jinx, then play the Get Excited, and the game's over. Timo Sejuani. Play against some Puff Caps. Alright, so now we, we need a challenger. We got the support stuff. Let's find a challenger. Or not. Because this is a matchup where challengers are good against. Because they, they want to have, like, Ballistic Bot. You know, like, Teemo is small. Easy to challenge. Ballistic Bot. Um, uh, Puff Cat Peddler. Like, that kind of stuff. They just want it in play. And so, there we go. There's a challenger. So, that's good for us for challenging. I mean, I can see you. that was you right there that hit me. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. System of threat. By my honor, you must die. You must. By my honor. Batter him! Oh God! Can't fight on an empty stomach. Is flesh so weak now, Ballistic Bot? All right, maybe it is. <laughs> Safety disengaged. Join me if you want to live. 
Because, of course, I have the sharp side that can block the Teemo. I'm not as worried about that. But I, I don't like this Ballistic Bot making these ignitions. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about three. You. Um, doesn't really matter which one I lead with, Lulu or Bright Steel, Pro or Lulu or Laurent Protégé. Doesn't really matter which one I play. Is this supposed to be a challenge? No, no, because this next turn I'm gonna be playing both of them before combat. Now I mean Pro Pro is a 4-4 challenger. It's not a 2-4, it's a 4-4. I mean, actually, actually, it's a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, because we'll have Young Witch support, then Warchef support, so then Lulu will level up. We're going to have a cool support chain going. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Okay, we'll have... Let's see. Young Witch support. War Chefs that supports Lulu. No, because we need to support... Alright, so we'll just have... So, war, so they can block and kill War Chefs then, I guess. So we'll have... <clears throat> you support you. You support you. Who supports you? And we're gonna challenge you and you. No, we gotta challenge you. So that does mean they get to just kill the war chefs. But the peddler is not that important in this matchup. And if I, because if I if I have Fiora challenge the Pupcat peddler, then oh, they don't have the mana for Troll Chain. I was thinking Troll Chain, but even Elixir of Iron, Elixir of Iron, if they had that card, or Br oh, they have Brittle Steel. Mm. I guess Brittle Steel is going to do it no matter what. All right, so I had I had to go War Chefs on the Fiora. Okay, so I should have done those the other way around. Yeah, Brittle Steel. Okay. I should have done those the other way around, so I messed that up. I should have done War Chefs on Fiora, and then Young Witch on Lulu. Good good lesson learned. Yeah, watch out for the, the Brittle Steel. I could have played around that. Um, So that thing's going to have Barrier. Sedgewani's at 4 out of 5 for leveling up. Ride onward. The winter's claw hey, Mind Splitter. So I was focused on Elixir of Iron, and I should have been focused on Brittle Steel. I just think I'm, I may want Repose plus Concerted Strike. They can't break this up. I was hoping they would block, of course, first, but... Uh. 
There they go. They were able to, to break that up. So, I'm going to cost this, like, this game, I'm going to lose this game because of that Brittle Seal. Like, I, I could have won this game, but I'm going to lose it because of that Brittle Seal decision that I made. Yeah, you know, like, the, the support, right? Like, if, if I just have the Young Witch and the, the War Chef switch spots on that support, we win this game. But I didn't, so it looks like we lost. This is a... Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which order they put it in. Yeah, Whimsy only affects followers, right? I, I can't do anything against Sejuani. I'm not even playing that, but it doesn't matter. This game's over. <clears throat> All right, so, um, but that's that's good to, to you know realize your mistakes and see that you know that was a winnable game, and I lost it uh, because of how I supported that one turn. Please send Aphelios. It's not necessarily those spells are bad, but I need I need more units than just these two. So I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm probably never gonna really play this flower child or leading with the fleet feather tracker. I'm gonna go tracker into witch into Fiora. Yeah, we're we're definitely underdogs against Aphelios for sure. Yeah, we we are we are the underdogs here. That last game, you know, like whenever like at the end of the five games, like what our record is, we're gonna regret not winning that last game. That that's the kind of matchup that that we should do very well in. Um, but they had you know they had a very good hand. The like Teemo, Ballistic Bot, Peddler, Peddler plus um, plus Brittle Steel. Like those first four turns were awesome, and then the Sejuani. They had they had their really ideal hand, but that's still a, that's a matchup that I gotta win, and I I made a poor support that cost me that game. Way, Definitely considering not attacking and having them waste their turn, but we'll you know do the seven damage. Concussive palm. Okay, sure. And that's why it's better to support the smaller thing, diversify your threats. If I would have supported the Fiora, then they would have, you know, saved an extra point of da of damage there. Um, yeah, War Chefs is now a two-two. That was in the last balance patch that affected like Hush and those kind of cards. War Chefs is now um, a two-two. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Go, floating crystals. Move with purpose. Mm, a delicious challenge. Sharp blade, sharp mind. I'm, I'm not sure if I blocked this mentor of the stones or not. I don't know. On the one I hand, for a worthy opponent. I'm not sure. Can you stomach this? Mm, a delicious challenge. Is it a 
adventure time, you guys? Those could be good. What do you say, Glow? That's yes. Feel the sizzle. Oh God. Eat up, friend. So yeah, like they're gonna be playing Lee Sin right here. Because they're gonna have all those gems with Lee Sin. They're gonna have all those gems with Lee Sin either way. I I did it like this, I didn't I know I could have gone with a Bright Steel Protector first, but with Hush being a card, I, w I went this way so like we had we had the kill, and then if they do cast Hush, then I'd have the repost afterwards. Wow, no Lee Sin is great for me. They don't cast the card Lee Sin. Alright, they did. I was gonna say if they don't cast the card Lee Sin, they're in a lot of trouble, but they did. Alright, so only one out of eight. Oh, I guess I should single combat one of these small things. I was thinking I would single combat afterwards, but I guess I should have single combat a small thing. This is this was my plan. Okay, well, um, you can just support you. So, life steal barrier isn't going to save them. That's not going to really save them. There we go, GG's. Good job, Fiora. Another victory for House Laurent. All right, back to the Puff Cap deck. So this was our our loss, and we're gonna have to try to make up for that. Let's. It's a single combat. I'm not sure about. Yeah. I need something. Yes, perfect. Four chefs is perfect. Says. I need something to make this a little bit bigger, right? Because three damage is really important against Ballistic Bot and Puff Cap Peddler. Which, of course, you know, Sharp Sight makes it a little bit bigger, too. Alright, new prediction is up. Have a mushroom. I kind of wish I would have mulliganed that single combat now. I definitely wish I would have mulliganed that single combat now. So that could be a good attack into brittle. Like the only reason to make that attack is brittle steel. Please don't have Elixir of Iron also. <clears throat> oh, come on. They do have Elixir of Iron also? Oh, man. Because now, now they'll have Brittle... Like, if they have Brittle Steel... Also oh, man. Yuck. This is not looking good. Not if they have Sejuani. Like, we've... Yeah, this is, this is bad. We just, 
The sea tells me all I need. Had, they've had good answers. So it wasn't Brittle Steel, it was Thermogenic Beam, why they made that attack earlier. That's what it looks like. I am just getting stuck with single combats. And yeah, if they just keep frostbiting these... We are just getting stuck here. Please don't have more frostbite. Wow is right. You're covered. This is the dream for a Puff Cat Peddler deck. At least they didn't have Sejuani, though. Carved from the savage Never mind. Cold. So much for that dream. Please let this happen. Please let this happen. Okay. They're able to kill Sejuani. Obviously, they have another one, the game's over, but it's not over yet. Bow to no one. It's disgusting. So my my two best cards are Lulu and Fiora. And I can't get any of them. And their two best cards are Peddler and Sejuani. And they just get all their pedal, you know, they just get all of that. That is gross. I, yeah, I mean, I got all my single combats. That was like the big mistake because I mulliganed. Um, I, don't, I don't really know why that thing's attacking and letting me trade. I don't know why they're giving me this out of trading here whenever my cards are going to be frostbitten for the rest of the game. Whoa. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. So four, five. How did we not draw Puff Cap there? One size their papers, no faces. Let them eat so. Oh god. Let's use all the colors. If they have no spell in hand, no this could work out for me. It's 
So obviously that's a spell, so this is not going to work out for me. Yeah, because that just frostbites everything. GG's. But they did, and I was going to be able to, like, you know, fight those and then have the quick attack. Twisted Fizz. Should have some smaller stuff that's good to challenge. Let's get some challengers and some support. Nice. Challengers and support. I like that. Together. Um, do I even need you, Flower Child? I'll, I'll keep you. Maybe I should mulligan the single combat. We keep on drawing all these single combats. It's like if we if we keep one, we we have to draw the rest of them, and it's like I'm I'm fine with the first. We don't need more. So if they're sitting on a three damage spell, yep, they kill um, the Lulu instead of you know like which I have a backup Lulu instead of killing the Fiora. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. But I guess we'll take it. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. So it's, they're in a tough spot here, because if they pass, like, if they play something, I get to challenge it with Fiora. If they don't play anything, and they they pass, um, let's see, so then 4-3, so then this gets stunned. Because if they, if they don't play anything, then they just burn all those cards that they just grabbed. Um, Alright, so... Then that's going to put... Hmm. So I can Sharp Sight here. So I can kill Twisted Fate, but then both my things are at one health. But I do have Deny. Yeah. Yeah, this is the play. Because then my... I do have Deny to protect next turn. And then the turn after, Lulu reheals Fiora. With the support. All right, so two Twisted Fates are dead. Oh, I was hoping that they'd have to burn two, two cards that were going to be gone, but it looks like just one. Whoa, th th you get to keep that fleeting card? Wait, that's how stress testing works? Like a fish in water. <laughs> Did y'all see that? They got the extra card, because this, so like at the end of turn, at the end of turn, the, the stress testing was fleeting, and so it, it got burned, and so since they discarded at the end of the turn, they drew a new card, and, and it's, they're supposed to draw a fleeting, but so it's it's already passed whenever they discarded for a turn, so they got to keep that for the next turn. <laughs> yeah, so some round end shenanigans there. Tremendo, 
Yuck. So this should turn a Fiora into a 5-5. Five five. <clears throat> and then we'll be able to kill that. So we don't get to see what they discarded. I have no equal. Chefs. As long as they don't kill my Fiora this turn, we're good. Those those are not cards to kill Fiora. Don't kill Fiora. Pass. Yes. You're easier to kill. No, you're easier to kill. All right, but there we go. Yeah, so that the Fiora will, um, you know, turn into the four four again with Lulu healing. All right, Lulu healing worked out pretty well that game. So overall, pretty good showing here for the Lulu Fiora deck. I think we, uh, you know, we showed the the power between like those two cards together that last game with Lulu rehealing Fiora um, after it took damage. That happened a couple of times, um, so that that helped out there. Uh, we we lost both times against the the Puff Cap deck, um, a matchup that I don't I still don't think is necessarily a bad matchup, but it's just you know Sejuani is Sejuani is really difficult to beat if they have Puff Cap Peddler Sejuani. That's you know if they if they get all those puff caps on you like those are those are the two cards, um, both both times my opponents had amazing hands but I could have won the the first one definitely should have been a win if I would have just switched the two I did not play around brittle steel if I would have just switched where the war chefs you know if I would have had just war chef support Fiora to make Fiora four health instead of young witch with the quick attack I I messed up that. Right, like I, I messed that one up. So like that, there really should have been a four one if I just switched that. But that that was a good learning lesson of, um, you know, play around brittle steel. That was a good learning lesson. Um. But yeah, so it, it went it went pretty good. We the format, you know, lots of twisted fate, Aphelios, Zoe, you know, smaller champions right now, and so smaller champions, um, sometimes some good support and challenger can be good against them you know so maybe fiora lots of lots of decks with lots of small units um as far as fiora is concerned you know lots of ballistic bots running around that are just asking to get eaten up by you know protege war chefs or fiora and things like that so you know lots of eye of the dragons and ballistic bots and all sorts of small units um you know lunari dusk bringers but yeah so this this went pretty well you know is this is this one of the best decks Probably not. Is it better than Fiora Shen? Probably not. But I'm glad that we got to do something with War Chefs. And War Chefs did look good. Like, this War Chefs was a good quality card for us. And so I'm happy about that. I, you know, remind us of the old War Chef days here. All right, but that's it here for Lulu Fiora. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. All right, but thank you so much for watching. And I will see you for the next video.